In this video, we're gonna see how to protect individual cells and eventually how to protect the entire workbook. First of all, I have a sales report where every single day I need to input the new sales. However, here to the right, I have some analysis, some formulas that are help me counting, let's say, all the payment methods that have been used for the customers and also the total sold for all the products that I have. But I don't want to let those formulas open to be added for someone else. Because if you go here and select this range and then get rid of the formulas, you can do so. But I think it's not a good idea. I want to protect those cells. So how can I do it? Just protect the specific cells and let the report open to be able to input new data. So let's say if you click in any cell of Excel, with the right click and go to format cells, you can see at the protection tab that all those cells in the worksheet are locked. And this is the default state for all the cells. Now that we know that, let's close this panel. And let's say the only thing that I want to let open or edit are all these columns that I have in the report. So I can select everything and then right click here. And then I can go to format cells and uncheck the locked option under the protection tab and then i can click ok now if i go to the review tab and to the right select protect chip i can insert a password to lock those cells but first of all here we have basically two options select locked cells and select unlocked cells i only want to select unlocked cells because those cells corresponding to the report that can indeed be added so let's uncheck the first option and then let's give it a password such as one, two, three, four. And of course, you can use a stronger password than one, two, three, four. Okay, let's proceed clicking OK. And then it's important to re enter the password again. And then OK. Now, the only cells that can be added are under the sales report. As we can see, I can still select everything within the sales report. And if I select the range, I can also delete these information. I can input new information right here. However, if I go to the analysis, I can't even select the analysis. So I can even change. But even though I can't select those cells, they are still working. So let's say a uh, credit card is equal to eight, but I'm gonna input a new information about a credit card right here. So let me select this option, a new credit card added here. And as we can see, now the count is equal to nine. And if I input a new row equal to credit card again, as we can see, the count is equal to 10. And for the second analysis, it's, it's going to work in the same way. So even though we cannot select those cells, they are still working. But let's say now you want to unprotect this spreadsheet. You can go again to the review tab and unprotect sheet. But it's very important to remember the password that you used it before, because now we're going to need to input it here. One, two, three, four, and then OK. Now all the cells again are open to be added and I can click, I can get rid of, I can change the format and on and on. And as I said before, eventually we're going to know how to protect the entire workbook and to protect the entire workbook. We just need to click here again, protect sheet, and then we need to uncheck all the options because that way the user is not allowed to do anything, but just look at the spreadsheet. So let me input here a new password, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four again, and then OK. Now I can even click on the spreadsheet. Everything is locked. I cannot select anything. I can't edit. I can't format. Everything is locked. So this is how we can protect the entire workbook and also how to protect individual cells to only allow access to specific points of the spreadsheet. And remember, if you want to unprotect, you just need to go again, unprotect sheet and re-enter your password and then okay but it's very important to not do like myself and do not miss the password okay because if you do so you'll be not able to recover your spreadsheet okay that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there